Hello, this is John Cabody from John Cabody Guitar Academy, your monthly guitar coach, www.monthlyguitarcoach.com. And we are discussing the curriculum of Guitar 90 Easy Learning System. And this video is all about how to hold a pick and how to hold your guitar. So let's get going with this. Okay, so in holding your pick, the entire course, the Guitar 90 course, we're going to use a pick. So this is not a finger picking course. That can still be learned at any point in time. I recommend that you go through the Guitar 90 course, you learn how to use a pick, you learn all the fundamentals of guitar, and then if you want to get into finger picking, you can start at that time. So I would suggest a fast track of the immersion in Guitar 90, the actual 90 day program, go right through it in order, uh, get through that 90 days, and then you can go on your finger picking journey. And I may have a recommendation for you as well. So anyway, so let's learn how to hold the pick. How are we going to hold this pick? So hopefully in the video this comes out okay. So right now the pick is in my left hand. Okay, this is my left hand that I'm using. Uh, if you're if you're a left-handed player, then obviously you're going to have it in your right hand. Uh, but the majority of us are are going to play a right-handed guitar. And even if you're a left-handed um, person, if that's uh, if your left hand is dominant, I would still recommend that you play a right-handed guitar unless for one situation that you absolutely do everything with your left hand and your right hand is very uncoordinated when you use it. Uh, a lot of left-handed uh, people can also throw with their right hand, play tennis, play golf with the right hand, etc. cetera. Uh, kind of going back and forth between the right and left hand. If that's you, then I would definitely use a right-handed guitar in my learning. Uh, why? One of the main reasons um, I'm an advocate for that is because these days almost every household has a guitar. The problem is it's going to be a right-handed guitar. Very few homes are going to have a left-handed guitar. Any store you go to is going to have very few left-handed guitar models for sale. You're very limited in your choices. So if you're not super, super dominant in your left hand, then I highly recommend playing a right-handed guitar. And I'm not talking about doing uh, what some of the pros have done, <laughs> flipping the guitar upside down. You know, I'm not a fan of that kind of stuff. I would just play the normal way, the way I'm teaching you, but as a, a as a right-handed player, okay? If you're super, super dominant in your left hand, your right hand is very uncoordinated, then I would get a left-handed guitar. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this video a little bit. Get some more visual here. That should be pretty good. Okay, and sitting back, you can see the guitar. Okay. Let's see if I hold my knee up. You can sort of see my knee. <laughs> let's, let's tilt this forward a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Now you can see my knee. Okay. There are two different ways to hold a guitar. We'll start with that. Um, there are two different ways to hold a guitar. Uh, one is the what we call the classical position. Okay, that's the original way, and that's the way I'm holding my guitar right now. Okay, so the classical position is just like it is in the guitar. You can kind of see the neck of the guitar is on a slant, almost like it's pointed up towards the ceiling or it's on a diagonal. Okay, and the body of the guitar is sitting lower than the headstock over here, which is higher up. Okay, so we're not like this as in the casual position, but the classical position, you can see the guitar is pointed up. Okay. Kind of like a cannon about to shoot okay? <laughs> out of the top. Okay. So uh, that's what we're looking for. Uh, in order to do that, what you are doing is we are resting the guitar. Okay. The curved part of the guitar is resting on my left, on my left leg. It's resting on my left leg, that curved part. Okay, you can see how it's resting on left leg. Then the bottom, the base of the guitar, is resting on my right knee. My right knee or my right leg. Forgot the microphone doesn't travel with me. <laughs> okay, so there's the visual. There's the visual. Okay. The curved part 
is designed to fit on a leg. Okay, that's resting on my left leg. The base is resting against my right leg. Your legs are kind of like this. Your legs are moving apart from each other in a V shape. Left one is elevated, right one is here. Okay, so how do you how do you elevate your left foot to get that knee up so that you can rest the guitar? There's a couple different ways. The money way <laughs> is with a foot stand. Okay, so that is well, the camera doesn't quite get that. This is a foot stand. You can adjust it for multiple heights. Okay. It can sit up super high. Okay. Or it can go low. I usually use this first position myself. I think I, oh yeah, I got it. Okay. So I usually use that first position. Okay. But you got multiple positions on this one. Uh, you can pick these up for $20 or less. I think I got them on sale actually for like nine bucks a piece. Okay. So they're very low cost to avoid a lot of issues and problems. <laughs> they solve a lot. Okay. So, and, and whether you're, um, using the classical approach or the casual approach that we're about to talk about, um, the foot stand can be a very handy tool, uh, for either way, either method. Okay. So I highly recommend getting one. If you, if you can't do that, can't afford it, or, um, you know, don't have the means to get to a music store, so forth, books are great. You can stack a bunch of books, anything you can stack. If you have a small step stool that, uh, that you use in the bathroom for younger kids or anything, you can use that. You can stack books, you know, you just get creative with it, but your left foot in the classical style, this style where the guitar is on a diagonal. Okay. Let me get this foot stand back out of the way. My foot is propped up now. That's why you can see my knee. My foot's down, you can't see my knee. My foot's on the foot stand, now you see my knee in the camera, okay? Curved part resting against the leg. My, my other leg is down here. One's higher than the other, okay? One's higher than the other. That's my leg down here. Bottom of the guitar resting against my right leg and the curve against my left leg. Now, there's some benefits to this. One, is that this allows you to see the guitar better because once I'm in this position now, I'm going to gently pull this guitar back to me. Okay. So we're not doing this. A lot of my students have seen kind of do this or start to lay the guitar down in their lap. No, 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 no. Cannot do that. Don't even get into that bad habit. Okay. And I, I won't have you here in the studio to correct you on that. So do not do that. Okay. What we're going to do though, when you got this in the right position is you can lean the top of the guitar, just like it swivels, you're just going to pull the top of the guitar back and you're going to push your body forward into the guitar. Okay. So I'm leaning forward. The guitar is back. Now I have clear visibility of all the frets, the numbers and so forth. So that's a great position for a beginner guitar player that that can be a really nice situation. Okay. The majority of people though do prefer the casual holding position of the guitar, okay? Now the casual position, the guitar is more level. I'm gonna back up my chair here. Try to get the mic back to me here, okay? The casual position is holding the guitar on your right, on the right leg, okay? So that curved part here then fits on my right leg, okay? Now, when students start out, a lot of times they will so I'm faced, both my legs are straight towards the camera and my guitar is kind of on my lap. It's really hard, it's really hard to get my arm around the guitar like this, okay? Uh, when I'm trying, some students will pull it over to try to help and so forth, but it's kind of fatigued, the shoulders leaned in a little bit. It's because in the casual position, what people don't talk about a lot is that my legs are not supposed to be directly facing you. My legs are supposed to be at an angle. They're supposed to be pointed that way. Okay, so if I move, I'm in a swivel chair here. So if I move, I'm going to move my legs away from the camera. Okay, so now my legs are faced over there. Okay, but the guitar, you'll notice, is still 
the guitar is still faced to you. Okay. Over here, I have to bring the guitar straight and reach my arm, and it hurts. Like a, my my shoulder even hurts trying to do this. Okay. But if I swivel my legs and keep the guitar facing you, so my legs are instead of being straight, my legs are like this. The guitar is still sitting on my leg. Now my arm can easily fit around and reach the strings, so forth. This is the actual casual position. It's the legs that people forget to talk about. Okay. So in the most most of the videos, you'll see me using this classical position for a couple couple reasons here. I'm going to adjust everything here. Get a little closer to you, <laughs> Mike, uh, in the video here. Uh, one is so that you can see what I'm doing better. And the other is because I've loved donuts and pizza too much. <laughs> and I don't want that to get you sidetracked. <laughs> but we're working on that, though. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you'll see me using this classical position, but you have the two choices. You have the classical position or the casual position. Okay, Classical left knee is higher sitting up on books or a stool right knee is lower curve of the guitar is sitting over the left knee and then the back of the guitar is resting against here that's how you're holding it you pull the guitar back to yourself slightly and you lean in you're not overextending yourself you're just leaning in a little bit okay it's like leaning forward in your seat if you're sitting back against your seat if your back is like resting against the back resting against the back you're in the wrong position okay you want to be leaning forward you see how I leaned forward from my seat I'm sitting back now I'm leaning forward my seat needs some oil <laughs> okay so I'm leaning forward into my guitar my guitar is slightly leaning back to me so we're meeting in the middle I'm bringing my body forward a little bit bringing the guitar back a little bit and now I have a good visual on the fretboard and so forth okay so that's a classical position. Casual position is a little easier. Just remember, take your legs, move them that way, and keep your guitar straight at the same time. Guitar will be facing the camera. Legs are that way. Okay? Those are the two positions. Now let's talk about holding a pick. Okay? So we're going to use a pick for the Guitar 90 Easy Learning System course. Guitar 90 Easy Learning System course. What I want you to do is I want to take your left hand, okay? Your left hand. You're just going to touch your first finger, your index finger to your thumb, and you're going to take the pick. Okay, a lot of people always ask me what kind of pick should I get. If you don't, number one, you can just get a sampling. You can get a, a mix of, a, you know, ten assorted picks or five assorted picks, and you can try and see which ones you like and so forth. It's not that big a deal. Everyone thinks it's such a big deal. On this particular guitar, now when you get more refined, you're a more advanced guitar player, you can indeed, for sure, the argument is valid, you can hear a significant difference in the style of picks. Whether it's thick, whether it's thin, whether it's bendable, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can see that in the picture, whether it's bendable, whether it's not bendable, beveled edges, not beveled edges. Okay, there's all kinds of guitar picks, and they all create a different sound. In fact, I would venture to say uh, in the years that I've had this guitar, I've probably tried over 100 guitar picks on it, and the only one I like, the only one that produces the sound that I like out of my acoustic guitar is a Fender, a very, very basic Fender medium pick, and they come in all sorts of colors, blues, greens, uh, browns, you know, purples, whites, pearl, you know, they're, they're all sorts of colors, but it's a Fender medium pick. So if you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using a Fender medium pick. Why am I using it? Not because it's my favorite pick. I'm using it because, and thankfully it's a very low cost pick. It's the one that makes my guitar, every guitar is different, but it's the one that makes my guitar sound the best, getting the tones the best sound for me, what I like to hear out of my guitar. Okay. Another person might play this guitar and they might like a heavy pick or they might like a thin pick. Okay. When you're starting out though, do not use a thin or super thin pick. That is the only rule I'm going to give you. Do not use a thin 
or super thin pig because it's harder to control. And when you're learning the, the um, picking techniques and so forth that I'm going to teach you, uh, the pick is too bendable. It's going to be hard to hold and it's going to be hard to get the tones that we need to get out of the guitar. So for now, just in the beginning, just during the Guitar 90 Easy Learning System, use a medium or maybe a heavy pick, a medium or a heavy pick, depending on what you like. Okay, I wouldn't use a super thick pick. I wouldn't use one that has all kinds of beveled edges and stuff. I would just kind of go basic in the beginning, get an assortment, toss, you know, maybe even toss the thin ones, the ones that are super flappy and bendable. Uh, I would just throw those right in the garbage and then use the rest, sample around and so forth. That's my recommendation. So how do we hold it? We take that that V shape kind of at the end. We're gonna hold it between our thumb and first finger of the left hand. Now, um, I better put my guitar down for this. We're holding it in between our, holding it between our thumb and our finger, index finger. Now, I'm going to come across the top, okay, the top above my pick. I'm not over here coming down. I'm over here on an angle, okay. Hopefully you can see that okay. Hopefully you can see that okay and hear me as I move around with this microphone here. <laughs> I'm coming down from an angle here. And I'm bringing my right hand, my right hand, thumb and finger to the pick. And I'm going to grab the pick. I'm going to touch my index finger to the index finger that's already holding the pick. I'm going to touch my thumb. I don't know if you can see that. My thumb to my thumb. Okay, so I got my index finger to my index finger, my thumb to my thumb. This is a Zoom video, so it's kind of going in and out as I'm moving around here, okay? Both things are touching. All I'm going to do now, my fingers are on a slant. Remember, we came in from this direction. All I'm going to do now is pull the pick away. That's it, okay? There are multiple ways to hold a pick. Multiple ways, okay? Again, when you're starting out, just simply start with this method. You might meet uh, several other guitar players. You might have friends that are guitar players, and they say, what are you doing? Why are you holding a pick like that? Okay, just tell them, hey, there's a bunch of ways to hold a pick. There's a lot of different ways. I'm just following what my guitar instructor told me. Does this mean this is the absolute right way for you or the best way for you? Not necessarily. We can adjust that as we go, but in the beginning, you need to know something. You need to know how to start holding a guitar pick. And then you can refine it based on comfort, hand size, finger length, all that kinds of stuff as we go. Okay, so for right now, you're going to hold the pick in your left hand between your index finger and your thumb. Your right hand is going to be elevated above, above the pick and to the side, to my right. I'm going to come down on a diagonal and I'm going to grab the pick. I'm going to touch my thumb to the thumb my index finger to the index finger, and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit, not hard, enough, just enough to hold the pick, that's all. I'm going to pull the pick away. Once I pull the pick away, let me grab my guitar. I'm not going to change my position. Now that I have my guitar, I'm still holding the pick exactly the way I grabbed it. Okay, Exactly the way I grabbed it. Trying to give you multiple angles here, a little hard, but okay. And I'm going to bring that directly facing the guitar. Okay, here's my pick. Now, when you're strumming a guitar, we're not there yet, but when you're strumming a guitar, you want you don't want to be exactly directly into the sound hole perfectly level with the strings. You want to just tilt your hand just a little bit. So it's just a slight downward slant, just slightly downward slant. You're taking that top of that pick, okay, the part over here, not the point, 
put the part over here and you're just slightly tilting it down not huge not like not like this okay i'm just going to back off so you can see a little better we're not pointing it directly into the guitar and we're not laying it down like this and dragging it we're having just a slight slant okay just a slight slant here's straight here's a slight slant okay That's how you hold a guitar pick, and that's how you hold a guitar. Okay, these are great ways to start. From there, you can adjust uh, depending on your body style, depending on you know how you like to hold a guitar, what way your body bends and moves, the right way, the length of your fingers, length of your arms, all that kind of stuff. These are great ways, <clears throat> excuse me, to start in holding a guitar and holding a pick. These will get you well on the way and we can adjust over time. But as a beginner, you have to, you have to decide that you're going to learn a specific way. So if you go watch 10 YouTube videos after this, you might see different guitar teachers saying different things, but you're part of the guitar 90 easy learning system. And I've trained over hundred students. And so I've, I know uh, what I'm speaking about <clears throat> and I know what's going to help you best in the beginning. So start, choose, choose your way here on uh, the classical position or the casual position of holding the guitar. And, and then just use this way of holding a guitar pick to start out. And you'll very quickly find what's most comfortable to you. Okay. Again, when you're in the Guitar 90 Easy Learning System, you're also part of a community. And that's a Facebook community called the Monthly Guitar Coach. I'm your monthly guitar coach, John Cavity of John Cavity Guitar Academy. Okay. And you can go in there and you can post a live video and you can say, Hey, uh, I'm struggling to hold my pick. Uh, is this way good? And take your pick and put it up towards your webcam. Okay. And I have a HD Logitech, uh, 930, I believe it is sitting on top of my laptop. Uh, or if you're using your direct webcam or your phone, just put your hand up close and start showing me, you know, are, are you, you know, are you holding it like this? Are you got your finger wrapped around the back? I can give you some feedback and advice and so forth. You can show me how you're holding guitar. Uh, if you're having shoulder pain or arm pain, uh, throw a live video up in there and I'll give you some feedback and I'll show you what to do. Also, uh, we also have Monday night, uh, live group coaching sessions via zoom that are also streamed on Facebook live. And those are every other Monday, uh, two, uh, twice a month uh, minimum, uh, and, and those will go live as well. If you're a student, you'll get a link to that uh, to join the live Zoom call. And there you can also ask your questions. Uh, show me what you're doing, and I can give you exact feedback and helping you to get unstuck, get you clear, and make sure you have the right information to move forward. So there's lots of ways to get my help uh, in order to help you to advance in your guitar playing. Okay, Fender Medium Picks is what I use because I like the sound the best on my guitar, the particular guitar that I'm playing. And in the videos, I'm using the classical style where the guitar is up on an angle, or you can use a casual style. Your legs are out that way, and the guitar is straight forward to the camera. Okay, holding a pick, grab the bottom. You're above the pick from an angle, coming in on a diagonal. Grab a thumb to thumb, finger to finger, pull it away, turn it in towards the sound hole, and you're good to go. This is John Capity, Monthly Guitar Coach, www.monthlyguitarcoach.com forward slash one time offer to grab a great deal in the beginning and the early uh, stages of this program launch, which just launched. 
And if that page is already expired or the amount of students uh, have signed up for that, if the page no longer works, then simply go to www.monthlyguitarcoach.com and you'll find two more great offers there as well. There's a monthly option and a lifetime option. This is John Cappity, John Cappity Guitar Academy, your monthly guitar coach. See you later.